and quite a number of our larger clients have contacted us and they're interested in automatically interfacing uh, Timer Pro with their ERP systems where the bill of material might reside. So in this case you can see the format that we're looking for. We're looking for the quantity, the part description, the part number, unit of measure and the unit cost. Uh, uh, unit cost is obviously optional as you can see here but typically we want the, the, uh, the quantity of parts involved in the process, the part description, the part number, the reference it by in your ERP system and the unit of measure here. Now if you wanted to automatically create this it's actually very simple. So if I create a new bomb over here, so I'm going to go just close out of this, do a new bill of material here and I'm just going to create a new one here. So again we have a folder that we just give you, you don't have to use it, you can put it anywhere you want but it's a parts one here. I'm going to call this my demo 2 here and I click on the save. There what it's done, it's actually created an XML data table here and we can see that data table if we go here and so here is here's the data table demo 2. I'm going to open up in a product called Notepad Plus. This is the text editor really. And what you have here is a basic format that contains the definition of a table. This could be interfaced with any, any of the common database tools that might be accessible to your IT department. It could even be done uh, directly from Excel because it's a standard format. You can see it's an XML format. And if we look at a table that has some data in it, so here's our uh, demo bomb that we used in the elsewhere in here. If I scroll down, you can actually see the data entry for each part here. So you can see here's a part. This whole area is it's being created in XML here. So there's an ID, which is an automatically incrementing number. And then the user select, you always just say false at this point. You put it in here. And there's a part number. You can see the part number here. And here's a description, who can amp, look velcro and so forth. Here's a quantity of two. Unit of measure is per inch. And the unit cost is zero here. So you can see here's one part. Here's the second part. Here's the third part. It's a typical XML structure, nothing special here. So your IT should be able to create this file extremely easily if you wanted to make an interface. You just have to make a call to that uh, their interface program and have it automatically generate this uh, bill of material for you. Any questions on this you can contact us directly but I think your IT would find this quite easy to work with.